Let's continue. Obito had declared the fourth great ninja war, and it was about to reach its climax. With the allied shinobi forces standing with Naruto and Madara fighting alongside Obito, the fight turned extremely chaotic. It became exceedingly difficult to drive back the combined forces of Obito and Madara. Finally, Ten Tails came into being, and Obito took in its power. Jeez, after that, it seems like they'd be toast. Just as they had Naruto cornered, a certain ninja appeared, foreshadowing a dramatic change of events in battle. It was Sasuke Uchiha. Uh, Sasuke? With their combined resistance and Naruto's words, Obito's heart was gradually softened. At last, Obito was rendered powerless, and the allied shinobi forces erupted in celebration. But this celebration was short-lived. Madara had absorbed Ten Tails' power and became the second sage of the Six Paths. His power was now overwhelming. The ninja fought frantically to the death against him, losing one soldier after another. Just as things were looking bleak for them on the battlefield, two ninja rose up to face Madara. Of course, this was Naruto and Sasuke. They were the only two who stood a chance.
compassionate? He lost his beloved. He broke away from his friend Hashirama and was betrayed by his black After a back-and-forth battle, Naruto and Sasuke managed to contain Madara. But Madara refused to stop. He turned the situation in his favor, and finally brought about infinite Tsukuyomi. Oh crap! You've gotta be kidding me! The ninja world was pulled into his dream, with only Naruto and a few others left behind. The fourth great ninja war had ended, and Madara was victorious. So he thought. It was thought? It's time to gather up all my chakra and unify it once more. Who the hell is that? Sealed away in ancient times due to possessing too much power. She was known as the Rabbit Goddess, the Demon, and many other things. Her name was Kamiya Otsutsu. Oh, again? But hold on a second, what happened to Madara? Madara had a companion in his sense, who he trusted with his life. He thought Setsu was working with him to carry out infinite Tsukuyomi. But once Madara confirmed the plans had been completed, Zetsu betrayed him. Huh? Why? Team 7 is on the move! Sasuke, Sakura, let's go! Let it to you! Go, Aura! Tamakichi! Naruto, Sakura, let's end this! <laughs> Zetsu wasn't a true friend to Madara. Who is actually working to resurrect Kakuya? So we're moving on? It was truly a war of earth shattering proportions. Thanks to the quick wit of their companions and fierce fighting by Naruto and Sasuke, they were able to get through countless desperate situations. And Kaguya was sealed away once again. So they defeated the true mastermind? Is that where it ended? No. There was still some unfinished business regarding the long-standing connection between two star-crossed friends. The connection between Naruto and Sasuke and its eventual destination. I... I guess that makes sense. They were only able to accomplish one thing up to this point. Conflict, and nothing more. Over and over again, scars, ravaging the heavens above and the earth below, full of agonized cries and bitter rejection. And then... Enough already! Just let me cut you down! <laughs> you can't cut your connection to me! To the connection! This connection that! Just shut up already! Connections are what make this world such a pain! The stronger the connection, the more it tortures me! And Naruto! My connection to you is the most irritating one of all! After fighting Obito, Madara, and Kaguya, that ends up crushing Sasuke? It's fate. That's all I've got. Sasuke was hell-bent on one goal. Fought and fought to see it through. But Dad still refused to give up on it. The efforts Naruto made to save Sasuke would soon punish the entire world. By giving and receiving.
seems. Building and protecting connections with friends, Naruto diligently followed his immediate way. Let's finish this. This battle. All of our battles! It's time. They're both so beat up. What happens in the end? Both of them expended all of their power in a life or death struggle and fell to the ground exhausted. Lying there, beaten and battered, they each expressed their feelings. In spite of everything, Naruto's pure intentions remained. Nothing could change his undying love for his friend, and that would soon soften Sasuke's hardened heart. At long last, Sasuke came to accept Naruto's friendship. Sasuke finally changed? Wow. So, the two guys I know today... It would be foolish to try and explain the rest here and now. But what your father achieved can be clearly seen in your village today. As ninja history moves on, Naruto remains at the helm. Even brighter than before! The time has come. Let's get back to the Time Reservoir. Right! You've done well. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen quite a lot, chasing your father's memories through time. I thought I knew everything about my dad already, but I didn't even scratch the surface. It's like my dad was... Man, was he cool. His life had a big impact on history. That's why he's also the key to returning the memories to the ninja world. <gasps> Is that Nanashi's? The fourth memory appeared, but it's different from the others. What do you mean? I don't know exactly. You'll have to check. Hikari. Yes, the ninja world may still be in the darkness right now. But I want this child to walk with a new light. That's why I wanted to name her Hikari, meaning light. Is that strange? It's a good name, right, Hikari? Hikari Uchiha. That's her real name. Then why does she call herself Nanashi? Having lost her parents, and finding herself being used as a tool for war, her heart broke, and she was given a new name. Nanashi, meaning one without a name. That was the new name given to her. Having lived her life like a doll, a name must not have been important. What? Damn it, this is making me so angry! She lived her life in the shadows, with no future ahead of her. 
And now the ninja world is headed toward a similarly shadowy path. A cold, dark path. With no light to speak of. I'll never let that happen. Right. That's what the memories are for. Naruto's memories that you've collected will shine light on the world. Now, let's restore the ninja world to what it once was. Yeah. Connections born of Naruto Uzumaki's memories. Run and spread across the ocean of memory. Memories, resurrect here and now. <laughs>